Uh, we're here with the Heartbroken. Thanks so much for taking the time. Really appreciate it. I don't want to say super group, but this is a uh, an amalgam of some great Canadian talent, right? How'd you all get together? We're we put all... an ad out. <laughs> yeah. No. We need a bass player. Yeah. <laughs> bass player seeks band. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we uh, we've been friends for a very 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 long time. It was drummer seeks musicians. Right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah that was exactly what it was. Seeks friends, I think. And oh. Musicians. musicians. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But you know what what that really means when they say seeks friends. But um, <laughs> we actually <laughs> in in those ads. But we we've been friends for a really long time. Right. We like to and still do like to sit around the kitchen table, have a couple of beers, have a couple of glass of wine, and play our favorite tunes. And then one day, we just decided to write one ourselves, and then we just kept on going. Was the writing first and then the name of the band? Because it just obviously fits so together. I mean, the, the songs are all about love and heartbreak and, and all of the stuff that goes with love, and so the name of the band makes a ton of sense. Which came first? That's great. Well, actually, um, had we stuck with uh, eight dollar bottles of wine, which was the original, uh, no, a name that we because well, there was a few names being bandied right. about. Yeah, 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 that's what kind of brought us together. Eight, if eight dollar wine really brought us together. Yeah. Right. And now we've graduated to twelve dollars. <laughs> um, so soon, you're oh, not the gonna imports. be able to contain us. Yeah. But no, the name, the songs came first, and then the name. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Where I think, we the, came I up think the, the name was harder than the songs. The songs came easy, right. you know, respectively, but. The name we we labored on that for a good two weeks. Yeah, like who came up with that name? I don't even remember. Oh. I can't remember. No, I, I was I think it. You did. Okay, I think, yeah, I did. I think it was me actually. But <laughs> First like, band fight. That's cool. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad that it took place here with us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it about? Uh, so, so the songs were all written collaboratively. Yes. Like both words and, and music and melody and everything. Everything. I mean, I think everything started in a different fashion, but um, I think the sign of like a really great co-write is that you could pick any song on this record and ask what, any of us individually right. what that song is about and we would say something completely different mm -hmm. because we're all equally invested but they're telling our own individual stories um, but they're just all kind of wrapped up in right. one so you just get together over some wine and just hang out and, and that's how the whole project came to be yeah yeah completely and now you're touring, right? You're, you're doing a bunch of tours, West Coast dates, and, and what's that going to be like? Are you going to all get along in the van, equal parts driving and, and all that stuff? You know what? I think it's, it's one of these things where we're doing it. We've all done it right. before. We're doing it this time because we are completely invested in what we're doing. We love each other. We love this band. We love the song. We love playing. And we know that all of those things are just a part of the journey to get us to whatever city on whatever stage that night. Do you so think I think that, it's gonna be great. Do you think there's a renewed sense of, of this kind of music sort of seeping up? There seems to be a groundswell, and, and I, I can't, whether it's here or in the States, there seems to be a real groundswell for roots music. Some call it Americana, we're in Canadiana. Is, do you, Stuart, do you think there's anything about that that's happening now? I think that people are starting to, to venture out and see live music again. I think the venues are opening up and accepting music like that. Um, and it's affordable, you yeah. know, like you can go see a, a great band for five bucks down at the Dakota Tavern on any given night. Right. And it's going to be quality. So I just think that, I think that the music listener is actually the, the ones that are changing the face of music, not just the musicians. Right. It's also the internet, right? I mean, the internet totally. is sure. being able to listen to all kinds of music yeah. from all over the place. And well, the other day, um, Peter was saying that like every single day that he finds a new so band, a new band you know, yeah. something new that's really interesting, great to listen to. So. And then we rip it off and we just <laughs> yeah, another totally. like, just go, that's a good chord progression, let's take that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are you guys you listening to? What, 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 is there, are there any bands you want to give a shout out to that you're listening to that you're really enjoying right now? Hmm. The harp, no, not the heartbroken. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, Peter, the, Peter's our, he's our, he's our music scanner. He's oh, yeah. also our, our IT guy. He yeah. t, t, takes care of all that stuff. I so he's the, the one that actually, funny enough, comes to us and goes, right. you got to check, you, you're going to love this. You so got to check what this you, out. What, what do you want to? I've been uh, revisiting albums from 2010 and stuff that's totally unrelated to us, like the Janelle, Janelle Monet album and stuff right. like yeah, that. Fantastic, so yeah. Really ambitious music. That's, that's, right. the, that's the only example I can think of right now. I think what's cool about this band, too, is that I mean, the root of the band is in kind of like Americana, but there's so many other influences in there 
that you know you think a song or for me like I think a song is going one way and I would never think for it to go any other road I'd right. be like this is a good road let's stay on this road and then you know somebody go like well actually let's go here you know let's put a bit of David Bowie in, in there and uh, <laughs> no you know like and I'll be like really okay oh wow let's try that cool. out. I mean yeah. I think we're learning from each other and we're you know we're you know we're throwing in some new covers into the set, like old, like Linda Ronstadt and, wow. and like Mavericks and Johnny Cat. You know, we're, we're constantly still absorbing and, mm. and trying to evolve as and a I, band. And I assume you're also always writing, right? I mean, besides the stuff mm. that's on the record, you guys are always yeah. writing and totally. trying out new songs live on stage and mm -hmm. stuff. Is that just kind of... Just well, not fun? so much like trying out new songs live yet because we really are actually reinventing the ones that we've already right. recorded, Fair. which is in terms of even different instrumentation and stuff, which is yeah. great. But we have a couple of days off kind of set aside on this tour that we're going to go and we're going to sequester ourselves for a couple of days and finish writing a bunch of tunes that we've cool. already started and, you know. Get some $12 bottles of wine. Mm -hmm. Boxes. You, I mean, you can get some. No. No don't boxes, boxes of wine? No. Sorry, I mentioned that then. I wouldn't mind. We can all share a <laughs> hotel room, which we did in Sudbury last week, and we probably wow. will again on this tour. Look, I've, I've never been on the road where I have had to share. A, like, usually being the only girl on the road, right. it's like, well, I get my own room. Doesn't work no, like that in this band. No, no way. Honestly, when in Sudbury, when I woke up in a cot, <laughs> freezing cold the other day, and it, because we, you know, we looked, we do have some standards, mm. but, um, yeah. You know, looked floor, around and I was, you know, a bunch of people were snoring. I was like, wow, I must really love I'm a what star. I do. Yeah. I this must really, life, really man. love what I do. But, uh, but I draw the line at boxed wine. Right. Yeah. Fair, fair. Yeah. I'm good uh, with it. Yeah, he, he, he will drink anything. You'll, you'll drink anything? If it's the last thing on the table. <laughs> sure. If it's red, made of grapes, he's Italian, he's like, oh, my uncle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're going out west, and then you're, you're going to come back out east in time for the spring and some, some yeah. festival dates in the spring. Is that the plan? Yeah, mm -hmm. hopefully. Cool. Well, uh, sounds odd, but continued success as a group. Thank you. And uh, good luck with the record and everything else. And thank, thank you so by. much for Thanks the support. So. We you. really appreciate it. Thanks. Explore Music wears English Laundry Apparel.